Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, this is uh, isopropyl alcohol, uh, rubbing alcohol. This is specifically Benjamin's. Uh, and for most of you out there, this will be very familiar. Uh, you use this for cleaning your airbrushes, for thinning paints, for all kinds of different things. Um, but in the current climate, uh, you can also use this stuff to clean your hands. And it works very, very well. Um, it's one of these things, hand sanitizers, uh, uh, you know, trying to find this stuff in the shops now is like trying to find feathers on a frog, um, next to impossible. But you can make your own, and that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to look at some various ways of making some uh, hand sanitizer using stuff you've probably already got on your modelling bench. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so... Um, what are we going to do here? Well, basically, we're going to uh, make this stuff a little bit more user-friendly. Um, this is 70% IPA. Like I said, anything above, I think, 60% will work very well as a hand sanitizer. Uh, as I said, you can just pour this stuff straight on your hands and it will work incredibly effectively. The trouble is, it will dry your skin out. Uh, so what we want to do is try and prevent that, or at least limit that. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we're going to look at some stuff we can add to it. Now, the, the best thing to add to it is uh, aloe vera gel. So, let's have a look at some of that. Now, <laughs> this is a big pot of aloe vera gel. This is a kilo. Um, we have horses, so we go through... Any horsey people will tell you, you go through a lot of aloe vera gel. Um, it's very good for horses. It's very good for sunburn and things like that. Um, so, you can buy big tubs of it like this. Uh, this came from eBay. Uh, in fact, I need to get another one. This one's nearly empty. Uh, so there's this. There's also this one, which is from Barrier Animal Healthcare. Now, I know it says animal healthcare. It doesn't matter, okay? It's meant for horses, but it's basically, if you look at the ingredients, concentrated aloe vera gel and preservative. Um, it's perfectly fine to put on your hands. It's not like you're going to be eating the stuff, you know. Uh, so there's that. We also have one other thing we can use which is this. This is uh, Banana Boat Aloe Vera Gel. Uh, now this obviously is meant for human use, um, but it's got a lot more stuff in it. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's got um, water, denatured alcohol, polysorbate 20, whatever that is, glycerin, which is a gelling agent, uh, the aloe vera, and various other bits and pieces in there as well. It doesn't matter, it will still work just as well. So there's that. And then one other thing that we've got we can put in there is this, uh, tea tree oil. And this is basically there because the alcohol, as you know, well know, is very, very pungent. It has a very, very strong smell. So this basically just hides that smell. So how are we going to put all this together? Well, there's a couple of things you can do here. I happen to have loads of these. Uh, you've seen me use these before. I use them for scenery glue and all kinds of different things. They're little 50ml spray bottles. These ones came from Sainsbury's. Um, <laughs> if they've got any more in stock, I don't know, but you can go and have a look. Um, I bought about 20 of these when I was in there once, and I've still got loads of them left. Uh, you can also buy things like this in the pound shop as well. Um, so there's these. Uh, so they're very useful. But to be honest, anything will do. I mean, the other thing I've got is this. Uh, this is a scenic sprayer from Woodland Scenics and this came uh, free um, with a bottle of scenery glue. Um, the scenery glue, I must admit, I didn't actually buy this. Uh, this was given to me by a friend. Um, she gave me a bottle of scenery glue that she had and this came with it for free. So again, it's a bit bigger, a bit less portable, but it will still do the job. Any kind of spray bottle will work fine. Uh, today I'm going to use this because these are quite handy because you can put them in your pocket. So you can take it with you and spray your hands and spray anything you like. So how do we go about making this? Well, there are some ratios to remember, very simple ratios. So you want basically 60% alcohol, 40% aloe vera. That's the main thing to remember. And then the tea tree oil, just a couple of drops. So let's look at putting some of this together. Open this first, and we're going to take our alcohol and we're going to pour some of this in the bottle which I shall try and do on camera without spilling it everywhere should be good for a laugh if 
if you've got a little funnel use that so we're going to fill this bottle about two thirds that'll do like that with our alcohol and then I'm going to put some aloe vera in out of our pump bottle simply because it's easier so just squirt that in like that don't fill the bottle right to the brim leave a little bit of headspace because you want to shake it and mix it up so that will probably do for that and you'll see that's all sunk to the bottom but that's fine don't worry about that we'll deal with that in a minute and now our tea tree oil and you only want a couple of drops of this you don't need a massive amount of this because this again is very pungent one there we go a few drops of that oh god that stuff is strong Whew. and then we put the lid back on like that and shake And there we go, that's all there is to it, simple as that, hand sanitizer. And you can just basically just keep filling the bottle up as you need to. So uh, yeah, that was it really. <laughs> uh, hopefully this has been of use to some of you. Um, it's, uh, you know, something you can do to kind of help yourself through these difficult times. Uh, obviously follow the, uh, the health advice given by your, your health service, wherever you might be. Um, try not to panic buy stuff when you go shopping just buy what you need don't buy tons of stuff because all you're doing is stopping other people from buying stuff who really do need to um, so yeah just be sensible okay um, so yeah that's it hopefully this was uh, of some help to you uh, look after yourselves and uh, normal service will be resumed shortly thanks very much for watching cheers bye